Whether you're a rookie or a seasoned pro in the real estate game, one of the questions that plagues us all is, how do we actually host an open house that actually rocks and that people will actually show up to? Well, my friends, the answer is quite simple. It's marketing, marketing, marketing and then some more marketing. But I'm gonna show you in this video how to design a open house landing page from start to finish with, yes, you know it, Canva websites for free. And the best part about this open house landing page is the call to action at the bottom of the page, the CTA button, which will allow that prospect buyer to actually save the date of this open house to their digital calendar of choice. Because as you know, if it doesn't exist in their calendar, it just doesn't exist. So if you're ready, let's get it and let's go. Hi friends, it's Larissa aka La to the re S-A. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you are new here, this is the place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters keep it real estate. But more importantly, I show you how to create content in your business. And if you'd like to learn more about how to work with moi, scan this code right over here to learn more about that. Now, I want to show you this open house landing page because I personally think is gorgeous so <laughs> give me a second boom do you see that yes my friends canva websites so let's give this a quick scroll so you have your your home page here the save the date button if i click this it's going to bring us all the way down to the bottom but let's go back up and then we have just you know an open house the address take a quick peek um this video is not really relevant but i just wanted to have something as a placeholder so you guys get the idea property highlights some quick things that people can just catch on to and then of course pictures of the home you like what you see yes you do join us for this open house and of course we can embed a google map into here of the home also we want to have an area to represent you as the listing or the hosting agent and then here at the bottom that's cta if we click this button here it's going to take us to this site and then we can add this to calendar. So in this case, you could add this to your Google calendar, Apple calendar, or whatever have you. So that is really, really exciting. Do you love it? I know you do. So let's go straight into Canva. And very simply, we wanna go over to the websites tab up here. And of course you can always start off with a template of choice. You can see what Canva has, but you know me, we're just gonna go with the blank template here. Now I can, I am gonna show you where you can find the templates if you do like to use something. Um, so if we just give this time to load, you'll see here that in the design here, design tab in the in that panel there, you can still see the templates that are available to you. But what's nice in this panel is that you can find something that you like. Let's say this one, and it'll actually show you the pages. You can apply all five pages or you can just use this page and then go to another template and use the other page and you can kind of mix and match but i'm going to show you how to build this from scratch because we want to be intentional about our landing page and the thing about creating an effective landing page that converts is we want to have relevant information and have one call to action that at the bottom it's going to make sure that if you know call the action that the person who's on this page if the information is relevant to them they will follow through and do what you tell them to do so also, one more thing, you can also find layouts here, which if you don't like any of the templates, you can also see what Canva gives you in terms of the different layouts and features of how to build out a specific landing page or a sales page or a funnel, which are really all interchangeable words. Again, it's one landing page or one piece, one page that again has relevant information. And then we want somebody who sees this to do the call to action. In this case, we want people to save the date of this page to their calendar which we will get into all right so our first page is just going to be very simply just putting in a picture of the home now i do have let's see here a folder of pictures i should have prepared myself beforehand my get my bad my guys so here it is example you've probably seen these photos i've used them for my other landing page tutorials which i will link somewhere up here the property one the property listing one up here and in the description box down below but I am going to use an interior photo. So just to make things interesting and a little bit different, um, you can use, of course, obviously the exterior of the home, but we will get into more of that later. So I just dragged in that photo there. Now what I'm going to do is actually find a square or a rectangle because I want to pull, uh, or actually, I just want to, you know, dim the brightness of the picture. But to do that, I'm just going to quite simply just 
I'm gonna zoom out here. I'm gonna make a black rectangle and you can make it, you know, a, make it bigger than the canvas there. And the reason why we do that is because we wanna make sure that regardless if someone is viewing this on desktop or on mobile, that black box will not look weird, essentially. You'll get what I mean when we go into that. But essentially, we just want to turn down the transparency and I want it somewhere around 70. You, yes, you wanna be quite dark because we want the text on there to be legible. So I'm just gonna keep it at that. I am going to lock that box down there so we, when we're clicking and adding things, it's not going to move around. And if you wanna give this a quick preview, you can just go up to here. And again, as I mentioned, you can see what it looks like both on the desktop version. And if we squeeze this down to mobile, it looks like that. Again, that black box isn't going to be, uh, you know, going to look weird on the page essentially because we have expanded it across, made it bigger than the actual canvas size to begin with. I hope that makes sense. Now, at this point, what we want to do is just go in and add in our text and you can do whatever font that you like. I'm just going to copy the design here from my other design because if you know me, I always create my designs before I film these tutorials, okay? Because I like to be prepared. But essentially, it's just two text boxes. You just go in here, add a text box, and then boom, put in your text. And in this case, if you have some kind of slogan, some kind of heading, that's perfect. And then here, just simple text. We want to keep it very minimal because people don't really like to read all that much. So we just want to have enough information that's relevant, but not so much information that people are like, this is too much. I'm just going to click off. Now, the next important thing that we need to do is create the CTA button, which is going to lead us to the bottom of the funnel there. But the thing is, we want to have a CTA button on the initial page to begin with um, is because, again, we want to make sure that we are driving traffic where it needs to be. So I'm just going to size this up or just using a regular square or rectangle and then go ahead and change this to your colors, your designs. I'm just going to make it this theme again. Now you can use the shape as a text box as well, but I refrain from doing that. I'm just going to go in with another text box T. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Let's go into Add a text box here. We want that white. And in this case, we can go and say, save the date. And I'm actually going to change this from white to that dark green color that I have, bold it and make it a little bit bigger, just like that. And then that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Then we are going to, I always like to add some kind of animation, clicking animation, whether that's an arrow or a button, just so people know that that is something that is clickable. So just go into your elements. We're gonna find click. I looked it up recently. And then we're gonna go into these three sliders and I like to go into animated. Now, if you want to look for free or pro, you can very well also filter by that as well. And I'm just gonna click here and hit enter and then hit see all. Now you can choose whatever you want, but I chose this one here because I think it was kind of cool. It, it points and then it turns into a thumbs up. So I'm just gonna size that down and then we're just going to put that there. Now we will link, we will hyperlink this button later after we make the page. So we're just gonna leave that for now. So that is essentially your home page. Next up, we're going to add in another page and this is where we're going to put in the address. So we're going to make some nice fancy text. Now you see here that I have this rectangle here. It's actually the margins. So I like to turn that on and to turn that on, you can go to, I believe file up here, go into view settings and just show margins. So it's nice to have that on. So you know that you have a good enough space between every page and don't be afraid of the white space or just having space in between the text everywhere else because it just makes it nice and easy to look at because again we don't want it to be too busy so this page here i'm going to turn it into the beige color and then we're just going to go in with a text box and i'm just going to do open house and i want to make sure that i have that specific font. Let's see here. Actually, I'll show you a trick. If you click on this text box here, and if you go to this copy style button, we can copy that and then click on that text box to copy that text. It turned it white, 
which I don't want that, but you, you get the idea. We can just, you know, sometimes if you can't find where that text or that font is, you can just do that very quickly. I'm going to change this to that green color. I am going to turn off that lift and then I'm just going to open, open this up. I'm going to make it bigger essentially. And so I should mention with this text box here, it is white. It's a white text. And then this here, the home, home to be is in, is italicized. And then on both the text here, I have an effect, which is the lift, just so there is a little bit more dimension and contrast between having this black, I won't say gradient, but you see the black transparency essentially. And then going back to this page here, we are just going to make this so it fits pretty much the entire page here. I know it looks kind of crazy, but trust me on this. What we're going to do now is add in another text box. And ideally you want to make this the same color as the background. So do it like this. And it's actually a really cool effect. So go go ahead and copy in your address. So I'm just going to copy it from my other page. You can't see it. So um, I have a double monitor, you guys. If you want to see what my studio setup looks like. I do have a video which I will link in the cards above and in the description box down below because I get a lot of questions about that. Um, and actually I lied about this font color. It's not supposed to be the beige color. It's supposed to be green. Okay. So we are going to, I'm just going to open another page so you guys can see what I'm doing. So, okay. Now you're like the rest of that. It looks even more crazier. That doesn't even look good. Okay, this is what we gotta do. We gotta go into the effects here. Go in to background, and then we are going to change the color to that beige. Okay, and then we are just going to make the spread a little bit smaller, roundness zero, and you might wanna change the size of this font here so that it looks like it's going in between. Does that, you see what I'm trying to do with that effect? Yes, no? Okay, we're going to move on to the next page here, which is going to be ideally where you're going to put in a video. Now, in this case, if you have like, let's say a 30 second video of this home, like a quick, like little property tour that doesn't show too much, but is enough to pique interest, go ahead and put it here. It can be again, a YouTube video that we can embed in here, but it doesn't have to be a YouTube video. You can very well just, if anything, everything that we are going to be putting on this page, you as the hosting agent can just film a quick video of your, of, of you know, you introducing this property, saying that this is an open house, and then people can just watch it here. So you can just, import or upload a video yourself and just put it here but in this case it's just easier for me to import or embed a youtube video which i have on the side here that i'm just going to paste it in here and it's pretty simple you just grab the url of your youtube video so all i did was grab the url here and then you just you know control or command c and go back into your design here and just right click or just command or control V. Very simple. You probably, if you've been on my channel for a long time, you would know that it's, that this is what I always do. I just, I just do it very quickly. And then we're just going to do that there. Again, it doesn't, obviously this video isn't relevant. It's just a placeholder because you guys know what I'm trying to do. Now, what we're going to do next is add in just some headers. And so I'm just going to go into elements. And we're gonna go and find this kind of square here. It's, it has rounded edges, but I'm just going to make a nice header like this. And we won't have the header styles to be all the same. So I'm just gonna do that. Then grab another piece text, text box, text box. And we are just going to make it that green color once again. And then I think I use, yes, the play fair display. I made it bold and then you can put whatever you would like here. In this case, I just said, take a peek, quick peek. Let's do it like that, do it like that. Just made it small. And then you just basically want to use this throughout the entire page. And I actually flipped the colors of this. <laughs> My bad guys. I flipped the color of this. So that way it's, it's, it, it flows nicely because I've, if I made this that beige color, I, I personally think that it, it doesn't look that great. So you want to interchange 
your colors essentially but that's just me i'm just nitpicky about color sometimes so you have this here pretty much done we're gonna add another page and this is gonna be where you're gonna add in property highlights so i'm just going to take this copy this header paste it here and we're just gonna do property highlights spell it right rissa highlights there you go and then what's fun about this one is we are going to make this one just a little a little bit bigger a little bit a little bit so depending on how much you want to highlight per se um, is going to be dependent on how many different boxes you're creating so in this case uh, if we go to my demo page here you can see that I created these boxes with some icons. So it's just easy for the eye to just see what that is. Okay, that's a bed and then five bedrooms. So I'm gonna show you how to make that really quickly here. Let's go back into this page here. So what I did was just go into elements. You can grab a square, you can grab one that is rounded, whatever you like. And then I'm going to make this color into that beige color. And then what I'm going to do is go back into elements. So we're gonna grab a circle and we are gonna make this <laughs> the green color there and then we are going to make this smaller like that and then just situate it kind of right there and so i'm just going to make this a little bit smaller and just do that so let's say again if this was for the bed we would just go to find a bed icon so you can use whatever you'd like i kind of just like these sketch ones that are very simple and with these ones you can actually change the color so i'm going to make that beige and we can just put that in there like that and then again you can also use this shape as a text box if you'd like but we need to change the color of that to this here and let's bump up the size there and you can do five bedrooms bedrooms or you can do what i did i did a total of five bedrooms so that there is um, some more space on, or so it fills up more of the box there. Again, you can use the t the shape as a text box, but I didn't do that because sometimes it's not centered the way I want it to be. So instead of doing that, I just went straight to an actual text box. I'm gonna paste that text in there. And I actually, I'm going to bold it because I want it to be centered accordingly like that, All right? We can make it bigger like that total of five bedrooms and at this point you can just make it a little bit smaller and all i would do is just select everything and then if you hold the option key on your keyboard if you click this hold the option key on your keyboard and click the image here the everything that's selected you can just duplicate all of this so it makes it a lot easier for you and then at this point you kind of know the drill is just go in and change out the icons and change out all of the text here now to make things easy on myself i'm just going to delete this and just paste in what i have from my other design here so boom something like that you see how it's just easy for the eye to read and people can understand so this is about the home and then these four are, are more so about the neighborhood and what's around that property so totally up to you totally up to preference um, next page we are just going to add in some photos i actually made this one a little bit smaller and then I went into elements here and we just are gonna go and find the grids. It's, it's down here, grids, grids, grids. And then I always just select just this three, these three, because we don't wanna be too much. And um, because obviously we wanna yeah, entice them to, we wanna use nice photos, but not show everything that they're like, oh, I know what this house looks like. So what I re recommend you to do is to either don't show the kitchen or don't show the primary master bedroom and the ensuite because usually when it comes to people's decision making of whether they want to purchase this home is dependent on mostly the kitchen and the primary bedroom and things like that so keep something to yourself so that they don't know but give enough so it does pique interest that they do decide to come to your open house do you get what i'm saying yes you do because you're watching this video so we're gonna go back down to that folder i had here of the home here in this case I'm just going to reuse that this photo again i know it's up there but i don't have many photos okay maybe not we'll use this one who doesn't love a nice laundry room 
I do. And then in this case, we're just gonna use the kitchen. I'm not gonna do a bedroom photo. We're just gonna do, let's say, this photo here, which is the foyer. All right. So that is that page there. And then next up we have the, I guess, the, pri the, the, the call to action that's leading up to the call to action, if you will. So I'm just going to go up to here and copy this heading, paste it down here. And then we can say like what, what, what do you see? Yes, they do. And then we are just going to, let's see, uh, mm -mm. grab another text box. I'm gonna grab from here. I totally forgot to do this. Um, you can also add in some actual text before the amenities, or you can completely just skip this part, but you can add in something like here, just so people kind of understand what these highlights are talking about. And just, we're just gonna move this down here. And then we are gonna go to this portion here, paste that text down here. And then of course, this is where you wanna put in some more information about the house and obviously the time, date and place and something to entice them to come. So I'm just going to copy my text I have for my other design here. And basically what it reads, if I just, wow, hold on. Okay, we're just gonna make this a lot bigger. What this reads here, if I just extend this, is obviously the date and time, which I'm going to bold so people know that's the date and time. And then some kind of, you know, what do you call it? Uh, scarcity, if you will. You know, let's say it's, cause I said here, come quick because this home isn't meant to last. We already have a lineup of buyers on our attendance list itching to get into the door. Obviously they don't know that, but because you're saying that you're like, they're like, oh, this house has a lot of hype. Yes, it does. And that's why you should come to the open house. So we're just going to extend this. And this is completely up to you, choice as well. You can also, if this property is, does show up on Google Maps, so if it's an acreage, it might be a little bit tricky. But if we go into the app section, I have so many things open on my panel here. Go into the app section and just look up Google Map. Like this one. And then you can just search for the location. I'm just gonna put Calgary for now. And then all you have to do is just click here and then it will plop on to your page. Now, the only thing with this is you can't really manipulate uh, the dimension of this. It's just gonna stay pretty much in that square. You can't elongate it or make it taller or shorter. So we're just gonna keep it at that. And then that is it for this page. And the next page is also very important. Now, we wanna show who is the listing or the hosting agent. This may not be your listing, but you might be the hosting agent. Now, in this case, you can put listing agent or hosting agent, whatever you are doing, because sometimes if you're part of a brokerage, you might have a lot of listings and um, you're able to show the properties for that other listing agent. So I'm just gonna move this to the side here. And then you wanna put in your your verbiage here. You wanna keep it very simple, quite plain, because we don't want to take away from the information of the house. Now, key thing here is, is that we are not putting any of our contact information on this segment here. Why? Because we only want one call to action. And the goal of this page is to have people to save the date to their calendar, which I'm gonna show you in this next portion here. So just a quick, split about who you are so that they know that you're the listing agent or the hosting agent. So when they show up to this open house, they are already familiar with what you look like. So I think that's very important. So we are going to also include a picture of yourself. So I'm gonna go into frames here and I searched up an arch, arch frame, this one. I think this one looks really nice. And then I'm just gonna make this bigger like this. I think I made this page just slightly smaller like that. This, like this, like this. Perfect. And then go in and add an image of yourself. I'm gonna go to my brand kit. See all here. Yes, I think I use this one. So if you wanna learn how to create these styles of 
profile pictures. I do have a tutorial on that, which I will link in the cards above and in the description box down below because that looks really good, doesn't it? Yes, branding. All right. And then what I did do for this page, just because I wanted to make it different, I actually made this page that beige color so that um, it, it, your eye can kind of see the breakup of the difference. So you are the listing agent. And then finally, the last page, my friends. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're almost there i'm gonna make this white and this is where we are going to be putting in our call to action the cta the prop the most important thing of this page here the most important thing so again we i'm just going to copy over these two pieces of text from my other design here again very simple two text boxes don't miss the excitement there will be a draw a door draw and snacks yes you want to entice people to actually come so if you have some kind of you know draw or giveaway or snacks or something to bring people in definitely mention that there and again just say we will see you on that specific day just to reiterate again the date and time now what we're going to do is go up to the top button up here and i'm just going to click and drag with my mouse command or control c and scroll down to the bottom and paste this down here so we don't have to make the button again because we want to make sure that you know our buttons are all the same look and styles so people know that that piece of element is clickable so now what we need to do is actually create the hyperlink for this button here so let's get it and let's go we are going to go and open up calendarlink.com so i'm just going to push this over here this is calendarlink.com and you can make a free account here it's really easy to do i just randomly found this website and it actually worked so i'm going to log in give me a second All right so now that we're logged in this is what the interface looks like i'm just using the free account really easy really simple and all we have to do here i'm on the dashboard i'm just going to go to add an event okay so let's go up here add a new event and it's pretty simple very straightforward we are just going to name this event here let me just make sure that i have this G give me a second guys give one give me a second i'll be back all right i'm back so what we want to do is for the event name you wanted to do open house i still recommend that you actually put the the address of the home here just so people can see it right from here now again you can add the location of the address right here and this is basically pulling a that google map address so i'm just going to leave that empty for now but i would recommend have the address in the event name and down here when you put the location of the address now you can customize the times here so let's say this is for october on a weekend october 5th oh that's november okay <laughs> let's go back the 8th the 8th then you can choose a time let's say this starts at one okay and then you can choose the duration let's say it's four hours it's just going to automatically do like that if it's five hours you can just go to custom and choose your time there so you can also add in a description now this is where you can put your contact information as the listing agent so you can put in your link tree or by all means actually put in your name your phone number your email so if people have questions they can reach out directly to you okay so we're just going to keep that there for now and at this point that's pretty much it it's just the event name the time the date the location and any notes that you have or your contact information all you have to do is just click save and there you go link to event now we're going to copy this link here just hit copy now if you want to see if it, what it looks like live just open up a new tab paste it in here and this is what it looks like and then they can just add this to calendar but we're going to go back into our design on canva now we shouldn't have well we did okay what we need to do is actually go in here we have to click that box behind if you go command or control k you can just pull up enter link and just paste that in there Again, we also need to hyperlink the text as well. So if you can't find that hyperlink button, just go to the three dots here, more, 
click more and you should find the hyperlink button here and it actually shows you that keyboard shortcut <laughs> and uh, for me that's command k or it might be control k for you so i'm just going to paste in that link there and you can keep that underline but i don't like the look of that i never like the look of that so i'm just going to remove it by going to the underline up here and just clicking on that it's going to remove it and then at this point, what you want to do is just click and drag and just group this. Now, we do want to make sure that we hyperlink the top button, this one up here, to the button on the last page. So what we need to do is go down to here, our grid view, you see that there? Click on that. And just for ease, what I like to do is name the last page CTA like that so I know that's the right page and then I'm just gonna double click on this to go back to the home page now what we're gonna do again is make sure that we hyperlink this so we need to go to pages in documents so we got to scroll down and we just named it CDA click on that press done click this text box again you can go to command K from me scroll down and hit the CTA button hit done again we can remove that underline and i'm just going to click and drag just so we can do command g for group so that's one cohesive button now again if you want to test this we can go into the preview tab and we can see let's just gonna we're just gonna go into desktop for now and we'll make sure we optimize for our mobile in just a second so let's go give it a give it a moment sip on your coffee mmm I totally forgot to show you guys something. Do you see how that text animated up? We can add animations to our text boxes, but I will show you right after we test this button. So save the date, click here. It should bring us down here. And if we click here, it should open up that calendar link. So if we open up here, let's say you add it to a Google calendar, it's gonna open up my Google that I'm signed in onto. And then up here we see the event name, the time, the date, the location, if there was one, and the information here with information or contact information from that listing or hosting agent. Mm, perfect. Now let's go back into our page here. Now I totally forgot to show you guys that you can animate your text. So what we can do is if we click on the text box here, if we go up to this button it says rise right now but usually if there wasn't any animation it would just say animate so let's just click on that button and let's say if it wasn't there as mentioned if i click on this text box it says animate go to animate and you can choose whatever style that you like but i like the rise so it just looks nice and i keep this the direction up like that you can make the speed a little bit slower like that and i only use one animation just on one page because we don't want to overdo it okay we're gonna keep it like that. Now, if you are familiar with my Canva landing page tutorials, you would know that on mobile, essentially what the mobile version, when people see this link on their mobile devices, it's basically reading everything from left to right and stacking things on top of each other. So what we are going to do is I usually typically like to group this piece together. I'm gonna to lock this down. And then what I like to do is take this text box, group it, I like to lock that down. I just like to lock down the headings, group, lock down the headings, and do this one too. Did I group it? No, I didn't. Group, lock. And then this one, I like to also group together and we're gonna lock it down. And we're gonna go into the preview. Let's see what it's gonna show us because I don't have this, this resize on mobile toggled on. So it's probably just gonna show you, yeah, it's gonna show you this, which is okay, but not really okay. So it's gonna be pretty hard to read on a mobile. So we want to resize on mobile. Make sure you have that toggled, toggled on, because as I mentioned, Canva is just going to stack everything on top of each other, just like this. So again, don't be afraid of the white open space. It adds fluidity and it makes it easy for the person just to keep continuing to scroll down. And of course, if we click on this button here, it's gonna take that person down to the bottom here. Now, if you notice here, I do not have navigation on up here. This is without navigation. If you have navigation, it's going to show you that hamburger menu. But again, we didn't name 
any of our pages because typically if you name your pages in that grid view let's say if i click out click out of here if you go down to their grids if we name this different things it would show as navigation in that hamburger menu but because this is a landing page and we want them just to scroll all the way to the bottom i don't think it's necessary to have that i actually recommend don't having navigation at all for this particular type of landing page all right now at this point we're pretty much ready to publish and again we're just going to publish this as a canva free website all right now i know what you're thinking this took a lot of time to build out but trust me this at this point what you have is a template so every time that you have an open house all you have to do is just make a copy of this template every single time and just change out the photos and change out the information and obviously the time and date and the save the date button so we just if you want to copy this for a different home you can go up to the file and just make a copy here and it will make another copy to your canva dashboard and then you can make it for another house so now you pretty much have done all the front work of creating this design and you don't have to really create a new landing page every time you do an open house okay so that's what i wanted to let you guys know now at this point we are ready for publishing okay so we're just going to go up to publish website open this up here and i know that i'm in the way but that's okay. If I, again, we have this toggle on resize with mobile without navigation. And if you see here, we have free domain, purchase a new domain or use my existing domain. So with Canva free, you can use a free Canva name or free Canva domain. So basically it's your, let's say it's first name, your first name, dot last name, dot my Canva dot site. And if you're on the free version of Canva, you can only create five different landing pages to that domain name. But if you're a Canva pro user, dun dun, Canva pro, let's get it, let's go. If you're a Canva pro user, you can have, again, that same, let's say, first name dot last name free canva domain name and then you can have unlimited landing pages to that domain name and i personally just do it that way i just use a free canva domain name and i just make unlimited pages but again you can also if you decide to with canva pro you can have the ability to buy a domain name through canva or use your own existing domains but I'm not, I don't really know too much about those kind of things just yet. So I just always just go with a free domain name. So we're just going to hit continue. That was very long winded. I'm sorry, but I just had to like, no. So this is my URL because I already made mine. That's my URL. And then here is where we can change the browser tab preview. So in this case, we obviously don't want it to be <laughs> save the date. You can, that might be kind of interesting. You can do open house, save the date. But what I would recommend you to do is put the property address. So if we go to this button here, click that. And then you can put the property address afterwards but most likely they're not going to see that entire thing but you know might as well just keep save the date there i think that actually is really smart and then we can change the flavicon is that if that's how you pronounce it favicon favicon and that's just basically you can add in your logo so this is pulling the logos from my brand kit i'm just going to use this photo here click done and then it's showing you what the preview of the link would look like and then you can down here, you can add in a description of you would like, and then you can enable password protection if you want to, or hide my websites from search engines. I usually typically leave those off. And at this point it's really easy, very simple. We're just going to go down here and publish. Ta -da! Very simple. Give it a moment. Take another sip of your coffee. Hmm. <clears throat> and so what does it say? Good friends, good books. I don't know what that, I, Canva was too fast. I couldn't even read the quote. So at this point, it's pretty much done. We're just gonna hit view website. And of course, quality check, boom. That nice animation up, save the date, click down here. It's linked down there, perfect. I'm just gonna click this for now. That's working. Again, you can add it to your calendar like that. Perfect, ta-da. I'm just gonna click out all of these links here. And then of course, go through here just let's pretend this was an actual 30 second preview of the home or you introducing this open house 
You get the point, property highlights, pictures of the home that still is enough, but still will intrigue that person to come to your actual open house. And then that Google map there. And then you as a listing or hosting agent, and then again, just reconfirmation of that date in time. Now that's pretty much it for this design here, but I do wanna show you very quickly, if you want to unpublish this after the open house is done, you wanna take it off you can just go back to the design here and just go up back up to that published website button again but now because this is published you'll see at the bottom here the unpublish down here so you can just click that to unpublish and then you just confirm yes unpublish website and then it's just going to take it off it's not going to be live anymore and that's pretty much it your website has been unpublished all right now I get a lot of questions as to how to distribute this link around. Now, because this is a Canva website, it's not going to be very SEO uh, optimized essentially. So it's not gonna show up really on Google. Or it's gonna be at the bottom. So really what you wanna do as the listing or hosting agent is to drive traffic to this page. So whether you are using social media, you might you know, create a quick reel or a quick short form video on TikTok or YouTube shorts and sending people to this link as a call to action, tell them that you're hosting your open house. If you wanna know more information, click the link in the description box down below, you get the idea. If you are, you can also put this on to your link tree. So you can put this on, let's see, you know, on in your Instagram bio, you might put it in there, your link tree, or you can also run an ad to this specific page. So if you run a Instagram or Facebook ad, you can drive traffic to this page so that they can see it. So there's lots of options. Even if you have a blog, say you're, if you are an, an agent with eXp, you have access to KV Core, you have a blog there, so you can also post it there. So there's so many things you can do, but it's on you to really drive the traffic to this page. And again, if you have an email, list a crm a database you can push out this link to that database you can mass text this out and these are things that you can do with kb core which is really interesting so that's pretty much it for today's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and comment down below hashtag and crew so i know that you stay to the very end because this was a juicy tutorial and i really hope you enjoyed it thank you always so much for watching to the very end and for sharing my videos with other real estate agents in the industry and it really makes me so happy to get messages from you to those of you who watch my videos and end up trying out these tutorials and making them in your business and you feeling so excited that you actually did it so that really warmed my heart it, it hits me straight in the feels when i get messages like that and with that said, if you are interested in learning more about Canva websites and how to use them in your business, then definitely check out this video right over here. And if you're ready, get ready to click in three, two, one.